Hello, this is Danny from the DM Art Classes and welcome back to part 4. In the last tutorial we were exploring the mask. There is one thing I'm going to run over. It's the extract option. As we can see here in the menu. So, if I mask an area here. This is very useful for when you're making clothes for a character. I'll show you what I mean. So the extract if you press shell, this is um, the shell thickness, border smoothness. Let me show you an example. There you go. So that is extracted into a new object into the scene. Which is really useful because you have a lot of control. I'll give you another example. So let's put the shell thickness up. Sorry, click on the object. Extract. Do you see it's, it's larger? Let's undo that, put the shell thickness down, extract, there. okay, undo, two finger tap, border smoothness up, extract, okay, nice and clean, I'll keep those there for now. Okay, so the, this is a really useful tool. Let me make something for you to give you an example. Let's delete these. I'll add a cylinder. Reset view. I'll change this to autographic. And then press validate. I'll just use the mask. I'll run over the cell mask afterwards. But I'll just use mask for now. So if I just come across here. In fact, no. Let's divide this model a little bit more. Divide, there we go, okay. Let me just mask around here. In my axe that I used as an example, I have some leather straps that go around. Whoops. This would be a good way to make them. So I would mask out an area like this. It's just, boom. okay, that's fine. And then I'll come to extract shell like this. And then afterwards, let's change this back to perspective. Okay. Use the smooth. Boom, boom, boom. Smooth the edges. There we go. Can go to the brush tool. Use sub. Put some cloth creases. And there you go. It looks like a, maybe a bit of cloth fit. This is just a very rough example, but you get the gist of what I mean. There we go. So that's uh, how you use the extract tool. So now I'm going to move on to the cell mask. So this one gives you a lot of control. So I'll snap to view. You can use a lasso. Uh, I'll take symmetry off. And sub the divide one more time. So the lasso, you can just draw and make your shapes. This can be really nice. So say if we're, we've got like that, and then I wanted to extract shell. There we go. Let's go back. You have line. So if you pull it out, anywhere that is above the shaded area, like this, boom, will be masked. Let me undo that, two finger tap, square, two finger tap, ellipse, a polygon. I like to use a polygon a lot because it can give you some nice clean edges. Also as well, you can Press on existing ones and change them, like so. And then you click on the green. That's a move tool. 
you go, that's nice and clean masking. And this can be really good for pulling out shapes. I can also unmask by using the shortcut key here. And then if I use the lasso again, like that, click view so you can pan around. So you can get some very clean, clean lines, clean masking. You can carve in on top, that area will be protected. For example, if you don't want to extract. Like this. Okay, so now we have the paint option. So I'll go to my strap here. So the paint, this is where you can start to use materials and it's called your roughness and metalness. So roughness, the higher you put this, I'll give you an example. Let's put this on full, full roughness. So full roughness is completely matte. You put this down and it's very, very reflective. And metalness, very metal. So I'll just show you an example with zero roughness. With the paint tool here, you can choose your alpha. There's this one set. And let me just, uh, there you go. So you can see better. Let's increase the metalness and you can get this effect. So you keep your metalness up and your mat like that. You can have this, your metalness all the way down and you've got this. And also what you can do is you can come here and you can click paint all. I'm gonna give you an example of how I would go about making this look like maybe a leather, a leather strap. So I would choose a darker color, say this color, paint all, and then choose a lighter tone, maybe with a little bit more of that. I'll come to my brush, I'll choose an alpha, I have a leather one, it's not exactly leather, but it's an animal skin, so th this might give me a similar effect that I need. And the drag dynamic radius, if I pull this out. Let me subdivide the object. Okay. It gives more of a, you can add some nice details to your material. I know this isn't uh, perfect leather or anything, but what you can do is you can work into the cracks with your brush tool. And it, this is just really uh, fast examples. I, after this tutorial, I am going to make sculpt along videos where you can just uh, get your Nomad sculpt ready and sculpt along with me. So if I go to the Let's go to the crease. Crease uh, gives like quite a sharp cut. Decrease that. If I could just cut in to some of these where the darker areas are. Crease is good for just like cutting, making slices. It's called, uh, in ZBrush, it's called Dam Standard. You can just add some, some marks. just to build up the texture. Uh, also as well, I could use, I'll use the brush, this alpha, drag dynamic radius, turn the intensity right down, just to add a little, just a little bit of bumpiness. Okay, 
Okay, and once we've got our strap, we could then, for example, if the leather is a little bit, just a little bit shiny, we can come to painting menu here, switch off base color. So if you just want to add a shine, say for example, when you're making a character normally around the lips, uh, you have more specular, uh, more shiny parts where it's wet things like this. So if you want to make something look more wet, uh, you can just add some roughness. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of this. Take away that. And just add a little bit. Okay. Now that's uh, definitely too much, but this just gives you an idea. You don't always have to change the color. You can change how... Um, wet an object looks or how metallic an object looks as well. I will be running into these things in much more detail in the future but for now this is just the beginner's course so I'm just going to be skimming the surface. Okay and if you've liked these videos please feel free to like and subscribe. I am going to be extending the beginner's guide to a five part because there's still many things for me to run over. It may be extended to a six part. Until then I'll see you next time and thank you very much.